thank you for having me here this evening. It's really an honor to be. You guys are my kin. I, anytime I get to have the pleasure to speak somewhere, we're all here for a reason. We're concerned about the direction of the country. And frankly, I got involved in the Tea Party movement two years ago yesterday in Indianapolis. I went to my first Tea Party rally. And with that, I just really just hit the ground running. I, I got in at the reason all you guys said, concerned about the country. And what I thought, uh, I'd always had educated myself on the political events, uh, national, even international, and, and locally certainly, and I did my part uh, in voting dutifully, but like most other people, I thought it ended there, and I didn't really have a say as a private individual, so I complained. I'd yell at the TV, but back in the uh, beginning of 09, I just had enough. I said to myself, you know, they're coming after my family, my business, which my livelihood, and my country, and if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for everything, so I got involved. Uh, and I, I, the doors that have opened for me, I'm not quite sure how they have opened other than I believe, and most of the people I talk to agree, I think there's a hand greater than ours that is in this movement. And he's on our side. And I've asked to uh, talk today on my efforts with Hoosiers for Conservative Senate. And, so let, and I, I plan on doing that. I'm going to give you a little bit of background about myself and how I got to that point. But let me ask you, how many people here today are anxiously awaiting to vote for Senator Luger of next May. Good. Well, with Hoosiers for Conservative Senate, that is an initiative to, and, and let me actually read our mission statement and then give you a little bit more about understanding on that. Our mission with Hoosiers for Conservative Senate is to ensure the United States senatorial representation of Indiana reflects conservative values and is in strict adherence with the Constitution of the United States as worded and originally intended by the writers of this sacred document. It's that simple. Now, our current senator, Senator Luther, does not do that. He's not representative of that movement. So I didn't start Hoosiers for Conservative Senate. It found me, actually. And uh, the, the bio, what might lead up to my introduction, it's really what I, I have done. I've just gotten involved. I'm like probably most of you in here. I've got other things. I've got to work for a living. I, I put over 40 hours a week uh, in my business. I have family obligations. But beyond that, I have focused the last two years of my time to work in the Tea Party. And it's long hours, and the pay is lousy. But the stakes are as high as it can possibly be. That's our country and our freedom. So I do it uh, happily and readily. Uh, speaking of various groups, but in the, the various efforts that I've done over the last two years, I've been successful in many degrees. And uh, uh, just recently I stepped down as uh, president and uh, I was, uh, was co-founder, but uh, president of Hoosier Patriots. But I stepped down from that recently so I could focus more in other things and, and primarily Hoosiers for Conservative Senate. And that started back in October of last year. Uh, a woman out of Kosciuszko County, Warsaw, Indiana, named Monica Boyer called me. We never met, but she just called me and heard about me and said, hey, I got this idea. Would you be interested in an initiative to see if we could rally um, the consensus of the Tea Party in Indiana to try to defeat Senator Luger? And I said, sure, let's talk. And we, other people joined in on that initial uh, first few meetings. And then in January of this year, on January 22nd, up in Tipton County, there was 72 Tea Party groups uh, represented from all over Indiana with about 160 leadership members in participation uh, at a meeting, about three and a half hour meeting. And there was general consensus that, yeah, we should work together at least in this effort to see if we can beat the senator. And it's not a coalition. There's been a little bit of... Uh, I guess, leeriness of people saying, well, who's running the Tea Party? And no one person does, and that's correct. That's the beauty of us, because all of us here today are leaders within the movement, and the movement is strong because of that. If it's one or two member or leaders, you go after those two people, and that's how you kill a movement, and that's how the left would do it, and, and they, they are trying to destroy bigger name people within the Tea Party, more on a national level. So that's certainly not our intention, but it's a singular goal, and that is just to beat Senator Luger and put a real conservative in there. So we were pretty honored uh, and humbled by the amount of people that showed up on that meeting. It was a wintery, cold day, as you would expect in January. Uh, but leading up to that was it, it, a few things to know, uh, kind of the background on, on how that meeting happened and what we've done since. In